Okay, you guys know me, I'm the Orange Man. Let's go straight to the point. I'm here with the guys who are responsible for the development, the progress, the uncut diamond, who now became a diamond, bright diamond called Nazmi. We all know who Mohamed Nazmi uh, is. He signed up with Portugal Division 1, uh, SC Bayramar. Um, here I'm actually focusing on, on how did Nazmi become Nazmi and who are the champions behind making this champion? Okay. I want you to meet this young man. Please introduce yourself. My name is uh, Aminuddin Hussein, head coach for Under 17. Uh, only 17 years with FM, do the youth development program. Only 17 years? Only 17. Only 17. Okay. <laughs> And I think a lot of you might might know this uh, might know this man. He's always on Astro Arena. <laughs> I think they don't want him there, so he's there commentating. <laughs> <laughs> Introduce yourself. Please. Yeah, I'm Richard Scully, as you know. Uh, I'm the youth coach for FAM. I've been here since the school opened in 2000, in 1999, the mm. sports school. It has been quite some time, youth, and it's we are still in youth in our in our heart. Oh. That's why we're hanging around here. <laughs> but there's an interesting story you told me about. Um, you were the youngest player yeah. at the age of 15 for yeah, uh, for the Malaysia Cup for Penang in 1979. I was the youngest player in the Malaysia Cup since the when I was 15 years old. 15 years old. That was my breaking point to make me what I am today. Okay. All right. And then this <laughs> this Tamil Nadu, Tamil Nadu movie actor. <laughs> Introduce yourself, please. Okay, I'm uh, Coach Sivam. I'm the assistant coach for National Under-17. I'm working with the youth development for the past four years. Four years. Okay. Alright. Um, yeah. well, apparently this is a new kid on the block. Yeah. Please introduce yourself. My name is Mahmal Hajri Babarabhaab. So, I'm assistant coach, uh, coach Bala. I'm new in FNM. Okay, but what, what do you do? Assistant coach for under 17 and yeah, 16? I, assistant coach for under 16. Under 16? Under 16. Uh, Malaysia? No, Bukit Jalil. Bukit, Bukit Jalil. Jalil, sports school. Yeah. Ah, right, okay. okay. So if the, if, if the boys that we see sometimes play in the Bukit Jalil, so from Bukit Jalil, uh, they turn up and play some tournaments or whatever, so you guys are the coach. Uh, assistant coach and, and head coach. Head coach. I'm Pala Chandran, head coach of Bukit Jalil Sports School. This is my second year with Bukit Jalil, and mm -hmm. we are the development. Uh, under the... Uh, yeah, development coaches. Development coaches. Yeah. Okay. We are all under Coach Amin. Okay, okay. You may ask, why is a head coach in Bukit Jalil, taking care of football, right? Football, right? Yeah. He used to play for VI. I know this because we come from the same school. Credibility! <laughs> 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 Mohamed Nazmi Faiz Manso This name has this name has made Malaysia so proud and put him on the put Malaysia on the world map single-handedly. Yes, we have Shafi Salim, multi-millionaire, professional footballer in uh, Indonesia. There were other players who have gone to Europe and became a player. I think Ong Yu Tiang, I think. Oh, was it Ong Yu Tiang? Lin Tiang has played in the German Bundesliga, I think Division 2, many, 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 many years ago. Hertha Berlin, right. And became a coach and is there. Then from Singapore, we had Fandi Ahmad, who actually played for FC Groningen. I would say from Southeast Asia, he would have been the first professional player. Okay. Then we have this. Then we have Titus Palani, who is actually. A teenager who has played, who has been, he's playing his trade from uh, uh, in Europe as a professional player in, in France. France, third division Albay. Yeah. Yep. Now, let's talk about Nazmi. How was Nazmi found? Actually, uh, we found out because we had that time, like 2007, uh, 2007, 2008, we had the Sukan Trust program. The one she's under that time, our miss, uh, youth minister is uh, Dr. Azalina. Then she found the uh, Sukantra program. Then from that, we, we do a selection to. We had the, that time is collaboration with uh, 
Ministry of Education, we call it 2011 program. That one is for the FIFA Under 70 World Cup. Mm. That's planned. Then that time we found, uh, I found Nazmi at that time when he 13 years old. That means you you actually were there to so do the selection. Through the selection, you were there sitting down there looking at the kids, who's good, who's there, and you eyed him. Yeah. Okay. No one came to you and said, Coach, this kid, there's something special about it. You just eyed him. Because I saw you sitting, uh, oh. you and Coach all were sitting down in Singapore Putani, yeah? Yeah. Th that's what you guys do, you know, you sit down there and you, you, you know there's something special and you'll discuss, right? Is that what happened? With, uh, Nazmi? Actually, that time I'm alone. I Because we had uh, so many coaches in, in, in the task to do the selection. I, at that time, I in, in uh, Yayasan Selangor Field, a former Yayasan Selangor Field in Klanajaya. Actually, he's from uh, Section uh, 11 school in Shalab. I mean, he in the in the sports school already at that time. That means at that time, he was 13 years old? 13 years old. Okay. Then, uh, from that, I uh, spot him. For the from that because I saw he's got something uh, special to to offer, even though he that time the physical is not quite uh, big for the for the 13 years old, but he got the the the, the, the flair. Then I think this boy got something to offer. What? Okay. It is sometimes difficult to put words in describing that that flair, that diamond, the uncut diamond. What is the closest you can come to to try to explain that? The gut feel you had, the inspiration you had, what was it about him? Because normally when you see a, a, a talented player, sir, talented player, you see always they, 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 they keep your eyes. When you see them, oh, this boy has something special. I need to see him more. I need to offer him to see him more, to give him a chance. Always we, 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 we say it like that to ourselves when we do a selection, always we Ah, this boy got something to, to offer with the, the 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 way he play when he receive the ball he passes the he move with the ball without ball then something only when then for 13 years old to do that is something really special it's an inside it's an inside inside thing that he has it comes out spontaneously automatism automatically you need have to coach him to do that meaning to say he has this chip he has this inside he has this feeling. It's not as like you got to, in a, in a situation like you, you receive, you stop, you look, you think and you do. It spontaneously happens. Automatism in him is that makes him the player difference than the rest. Because he does it just automatically without putting a constraint in himself.